This video will go over how to use the PALS tab of the EQAP setup tool in FUDSCHEM. Project Action Limits PALS, should be established based on project requirements, potential receptors, future use of the site, and other risk concerns. This is why defining PALS happens at the beginning of the EQAP setup process. For information on how to fill out the other tabs, please refer to our EQAP Tutorials playlist, linked in the description. Go to Tools, Data, EQAP Setup. Select your project, then click on the PALS tab. The left-hand column displays PALS that you can copy into your project. The latest versions of the EPA regional screening levels are available, in addition to other screening levels approved by the EMCX. Let's add the latest EPA tap water PAL to our project. To make this easier, we can use the Filter Source PALS drop-down to narrow down the options. We will select the latest EPA RSL for THQ 1.0 and click the magnifying glass icon. Now, a much shorter list is available. Let's highlight our desired PAL by clicking on it. Note that we could hold down the control key or shift key to highlight multiple PALs at a time. Click the right arrow to add highlighted PALs to the project. The PAL will move to the Destination Project Action Limits box in the middle. If we accidentally added a PAL that we do not need, we could highlight it and click the red X. This removes the PAL from the project and returns it to the list on the left. If a desired PAL is not available, you can add it as a custom PAL. We go over this process in our EQAP Custom PALs tutorial video, linked in the description. Once the PALs have been added to the project, you can review their limits by going to Reports, Environmental Setup Reports. Then, choose either Regulatory Limits or Regulatory Limits by Analyte. We'll first choose Regulatory Limits. Select the project and limit type. In the Analytes drop-down, we can choose either All in PALS or Only in Project. All in PALS would show us all the PAL values we have added, while Only in Project would only show PAL values for Analytes in the project. In this case, we have not gotten far enough to add Analytes to our EQAP yet, so this option would return a blank report. Let's choose All in PALS, then click View Report. This report can be saved in various formats by clicking on the floppy disk icon. Let's go to the second report. Back in the main window, go to Reports, Environmental Setup Reports, Regulatory Limits by Analyte. Choose the project. The Include drop-down is similar to the other report. We will choose All in PALS. Let's select All Analytes and Aqueous Matrix only. Click View Report. Each analyte will be listed with its applicable PALS. As we page through the report, we can see that many analytes have multiple PALS available, but some only have one. The Highlight Analytes Without PALS option is something we can use once analytes have been added to the EQAP. We'll return to this report later. Let's go back to our main window. As we noticed in the report, some analytes have multiple PALS that could apply to them. Here in the PALS tab, we can choose how to apply PALS to each analyte using the drop-downs in the lower right. Doing so will allow us to associate multiple PALS to the same method later in the PAL Associations tab. Then the system can auto-populate the PALS and Project Quantitation Limit Goals PQGs, on the Analyte Limits tab accordingly. In the right-hand column, we will first choose our desired matrix. Let's choose Aqueous. For this example, Let's say that we want this custom PAL from Los Alamos National Laboratory to supersede the others.
pals at the top will be prioritized over the ones below. Therefore, we will select it and move it up using the arrows. Let's say that we want our tap water pal to be second priority. We can move it up in the same way. On the lower right, we can change the criteria type terminology to Project Action Limit, or Screening Criteria. This will determine which term is used in reports. Next, click the Project Quant Goals Rule dropdown. Here, we can choose how PALs and PQGs will be applied to each analyte. The Do Not Update option would enable us to enter PQGs manually. The Selected Priority option would auto-populate the PALs, starting with the first priority PAL in our list and filling in any missing information from lower priority choices. The Lowest Applicable PAL option would auto-populate the PALs based on the lowest available PAL value regardless of priority. We will choose the Lowest Applicable PAL option for this project. Lastly, in the Update Project Quant Goals dropdown, we will choose how to calculate the PQGs. The No Change option would not update the PQGs, and can only be selected when the previous dropdown is set to Do Not Update. The next three options would auto-populate the PQGs on the Analyte Limits tab with 1 half, 1 third, or 1 tenth of the PAL value, respectively. The No PQG Update option would auto-populate the PALs but not the PQGs. We would enter the PQGs manually. We will choose one third of PAL for this project. This will update the PQG to be one third of the PAL value. Note that the UFP QAP worksheet templates provided by the Intergovernmental Data Quality Task Force indicates the PQG should be less than the PAL value. However, they do not specify what that number needs to be. The EMCX has determined that one half of the PAL is appropriate, but one third is preferred. If you do not want to use one half, one third, or one tenth of the PAL, you can choose the No PQG Update option and enter the values by hand instead. Be sure to set up these rules for any other matrices as well by adjusting the Filter Pals by Matrix dropdown. Once we have finished setting up all of our priority and update rules here, we will be ready to associate Pals to our methods when we reach the Pal Associations tab. For more information, Please refer to our PAL Associations tab tutorial and our Analyte Limits tab tutorial videos, linked in the description. Let's fast forward to after we have added all desired analytes to the Analyte Limits tab. We can make sure that they each have a corresponding PAL. Let's reopen the Regulatory Limits by Analyte report from earlier. Choose Only in Project and set the Highlight Analytes Without Pals option to True, then click View Report. We can see that Total Organic Carbon TOC, is included in this EQAP, but none of the Pals added to the EQAP currently have a value for TOC. We could return to the Pals tab and add a Pal that has a limit for TOC. Don't forget to subscribe to the FUDSCAM YouTube channel for more tutorial videos. All of the tutorials and playlists mentioned during this video are linked in the description below. Lastly, if you have questions or comments, feel free to contact us at fuds.support at synaptics.net. Thank you.